Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, it seems like, uh, again, the Russians were telling the truth and the Ukrainians were not. And I'm talking about uh, that cargo ship that the Russians reported they, they boarded with that helicopter, you know, they stopped everybody, the, stopped that um, Palau and the flag of Palau, that's uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, picking up grain from Ukraine and it had a Turkish crew. The Russians said the helicopters came, blah, 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 dropped these people, stopped the engines and so on. The Ukrainians came, um, I think the same day, and said, nah, nah, that's not true. Yeah, the same day later in the afternoon. No, that's not true. Nothing like this happened. I covered uh, the first one when I said, well, the Russians did an inspect, uh, they inspected that cargo ship. And I covered the article coming from the Ukrainians saying that no, the cargo ship was not inspected. And this is the uh, video I made then. Uh, it was from the 13th. Fake news? Question mark. No warning shots fire, fired, no helicopter, no whiz vessel inspected in the Black Sea by Russians? Question mark. This was the article I made in the afternoon uh, based on this article from Ukrainska Pravda on the 13th of August, Russians spread disinformation about ship inspection and warning shots in the Black Sea. So Ukrainska Pravda said, no, that's not true, fake news. And I told you here that actually they said that the sailors said that Sukru Okan did not comply with the demands of the Russians to stop the ship, but simply temporarily changed its course towards the coast, territorial ter 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 waters of Turkey. There were no helicopters and no warning shots. There were only Russian threats on the radio. There was a Turkish crew on board of Sukru Okran, Okan who did not give a quote-unquote shit about the threats and did not obey. Therefore, the, Rus Ruskis, the Russians' reports about the successful inspection of the ship were untruthful. And they gave here an audio of something I didn't play. So this is what this guy said. Well, look what happened now. Business Insider. This is from today, August 15th, and I'm going to show you the video because I have here the video of all that. New video shows Russian forces riding a cargo ship in the Black Sea, shouting stop machine as they stormed the bridge. I have that and then you have another one here coming from, the, from Reuters. Stop machine. Russia releases video showing Navy boarding cargo ship in the Black Sea. All right, so let me show you. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, this is a video again right here. Let me show you the video now and you uh, be the judge. OK, let me just bring this closer to me and I'm, I'm going to play a few videos, not only uh, one, just so you know. So there's no sound here. That's a helicopter and that's a ship right there. Obviously, these guys are without the military around here. Stop machine! Stop machine! Stop machine! Stop it, Jack! Stop it, Jack! Keep calm! Keep calm and listen to me! Sit down, please sit down! Please sit down. Keep calm and listen to me. What is the capital? Speak English. Yes, I am speaking English. Yes. Good day, sir. I'm Russian Navy officer. My action will be reported on the video. Please don't shoot my group on video. Uh, my question yes. is why yes. stop and jam and a uh, long time over? Uh, Chief engineer and oiler going to deck. On the deck? Yes. Why? No, uh, engine room. Chief engineer, right? Oil. No, 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 no. Why? Why? You don't stop in time. In stop it, stop it. And then after, after a long time, I say you stop in time. Yeah. It's radio. I, I say you stop in time. You don't stop in time. Why? 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 Oh, yeah. so this is the inspection. This is one of the videos. 
And I want to uh, use the other one here. It's probably going to be the same thing, but uh, let's take a chance on this one. Uh, the same thing it seems like. Let me see if I got the... Come here! Yeah, that's the same one. But I have another one I'm going to show you. And it's right here. There's a helicopter over there, obviously. There's the crew over there. That's the military going over here. What the hell the guys reported? Uh, there was nothing there. Hey, peace. Okay, whatever you want. So I don't think we uh, have any more doubts about the inspection that was carried out on this vessel. And there's a boarding over there. You see how great that guy is? He doesn't have a ladder or anything. That was fantastic. Um, so, now what do you think? Who lied here? Well, you see, uh, if I tell you that I have an, uh, a pair of glasses and someone says, no, he is lying, no, that, and I say, okay, here or there. So who's lying? Obviously, all right? So this is, uh, this caught the Ukrainians with the pants down. Now, that article from Ukrainska Pravda is uh, obviously, how should I put it, promoted, right, by the Ukrainska Pravda based on a certain kind of, uh, they call it intelligence something. Let me just uh, go back to it and uh, uh, see the source. All right, it says, inform Napalm. That's what they use here, ready? Right here, Inform Napalm, an international intelligence community, community said that the Russians have lied that the inspection of the pa -pa -pa cargo ship on the Black Sea was successful and that warning shots were fired. Fake news. So if you promote this over here, and uh, this is the same thing with the International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court from The Hague is an organization, international international organization, right? Put together a court by certain countries. It's like, for instance, in the neighborhood, I make a football club. And I make a football club with, I don't know, let's say uh, 100 uh, households from 200 households in the neighborhood. Now, that's our organization. Now, if I penalize someone in my organization, I can't penalize someone who's not in my organization. I just made this organization. This organization is not a, how should I put it, a, um, uh, you know, it's for the whole, for the whole, uh, it's not an association. Like the associa association of the, of the um, neighborhood decided. It's not like the United Nations. That's the association of the, uh, let's say, neighborhood. That's not an association. It's a private shit. An understanding between or among certain kind of countries. So when they say info that international, blah, 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 it's just a guy or just a, a institute of study of war, which we know how great that is, coming and saying something. It's not golden, it's not, oh my God, but you can use that. But the problem is you use it, you don't verify that. And I don't think, I don't think personally that uh, Ukrainians from uh, Ukrainska, Ukrainska Pravda did not know that. I don't, I mean, if they didn't know and they published it, they did not know that those guys are talking smack. If they did that, that's very unprofessional. And then if YouTube or others have a problem with us, what would you do to Ukrainska Pravda? Jump the gun just like that. Why? Because, you know, in the world, you're going to have people who lie, obviously. And then they bring information, misinformation, disinformation. It's, I mean, sometimes you can verify, sometimes you can't verify. But these guys are promoting something that without even verifying it, they just liked what those guys said and that fit their narrative. So they did it. So yes, the Russians uh, stopped that uh, Palau uh, ship with the Turkish crew. They used helicopters. They boarded the, the cargo ship with the military. They stopped the machine. You know, and they inspected the cargo, they took off and blah, blah, blah. Now, what I didn't see over there were the warning shots. That's what I didn't see. But uh, now, do you think that would matter? It's like I say, okay, he's the rapist. Blah, blah, blah. I identify him and I say, well, he was wearing, a, I don't know, a, a Breitling um, uh, watch. Not this one. Anyway, um, no, actually, you, you, you go and say, well, he's not the him because he was not the Breitling. It was a citizen. 
watch therefore he's not a, the right person what are you talking about everything else was uh, accurate Th does that matter because of the watch he was wearing that's the oh I, that's n inaccurate he was not wearing a uh you know, brightling it were he was uh, uh wearing a uh, citizen now this is what's the argument here oh i didn't hear the warning shots see they lied you know what all right my friends here is the evidence here are the videos thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just